All right, we got everything I think lined out on this 1250. Now it is time to get it drivable because we need it out of here. There is uh, another tractor coming if somebody else is to work on. So yeah, we've pretty well done all we can do anyway. We just need to address a few things. Namely, check out the rear end oil situation because that guy made it sound like he had maybe potentially drained it. So he gave me a new bucket of oil to go with it, but we're going to investigate that right after this. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. The little 1250 here is just about ready for its maiden voyage, but we have to investigate. And we also have to clean up all of our garbage off of it because we have accumulated a lot of stuff, you know? And so that's one thing that's gonna have to happen. According to the research in the operator's book, the test plug is right there on top of the platform. There's two drain plugs underneath, and then our fill plug is right there. So I'm guessing to start with, we're going to pull the side plug and see if anything runs out. And then after that, when we see how pathetic it is, we will go ahead and pull the drain plugs probably see what that's like and then go ahead and fill her up so i should probably clear that floorboard off first because we know it's going to get totally soaked i also thought we had <laughs> pretty well everything put away but as far as bolts go but i'm still finding more stuff so sure that's probably a good piece of hose we can still use. That's brand new. That can go in a parts box. That can go in a parts box. That we're gonna use whenever our fittings get here. And there's a whole bunch of hardware that we're probably gonna use before this is over with. We're gonna probably need these short ones. So what we're going to do is immediately drop them to the ground. That makes sense, right? What I was going to do <laughs> before I did that. Oh, shoot. I was going to put these long ones away because I don't think I need them. Cleaning. Yeah. It happens every so often. Boy, that was a long time of doing nothing. Just the way she worked out. What size are these? Well, how about that? What do we think is going to happen? Well, it did come loose. Is it going to be milky? Is it going to be dry? Looks like she's dry. Okay. Now our clue on here that oil don't look bad, or whatever that is. He made it sound like he flushed it once. So, that's cool. I mean, now what we need to do is probably get us a bucket or something. You know, wouldn't that be nice to kind of collect whatever mess we make. We're doing real good here with making a mess. We have got stuff absolutely everywhere in here. It's ridiculous. I mean, yes, stuff everywhere. That's the grommet for the steering. We'll need that after a bit. I'm just gazing at it to see what other things we might have to do. I noticed that 
ADD kicking in, but somebody's pipe capped off our hydraulic hose, and I wonder where the second one goes in that at. I have to look at another tractor to figure out what we've done. You know? But that's neither here nor there. The fill plug for that's on the back. That's a separate unit on these. I should probably try to get a filter, but I don't know if I can get one in town. So, anyway, getting distracted again. Let's get a bucket and crawl underneath. So, according to the book, I would say this is the drain plug, and then there's one back there in the center. So, now the next question is, are they the same? as what we just did. They look like it. <coughs> excellent, excellent. It's gonna struggle, buses. All because... <coughs> there. <coughs> hey, it came loose. Once again, I'm pretty sure he had it loose. Uh-oh. Does that look like oil, or does that look like water? Looks like water. <laughs> I bet he's, he's been, that's diesel fuel. So what it is. He's been flushing it, like he said. So that's cool. I'm okay with that. <clears throat> I'm okay with that. So that's diesel fuel. Now, that one under the center should also be drained. <laughs> so we'll have to Try to do that here in just a second. I'm struggling. I'm struggling to get there without just laying totally on the ground. There's actually th three plugs, but it said in the thing just those two. So, I don't know. Real good view for you, isn't it? <laughs> yep, diesel fuel. Okay, good. I think that we've probably adequately moved it around enough through the process of hauling it home and whatever that it's probably clean enough now. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the uh, gear oil in it. I think that we don't know what it looked like before, but maybe it wasn't bad at all. Maybe he just thought that was something you do, you know, flush. Then again, it could be a rusty ball of sadness in there. But I like our odds right now. change later but for now it seems like progress is going to be made here very shortly and easily it would be a great job for a creeper you know now if I set you right in the sun what's the chances that you will stay recording before it claims that you're too hot. Let's see what happens here. Guess what? The fill plug is going to be a different size. Why? Well, no reason. Just because All right. Now really, in theory, shouldn't we pull that side plug out? So we could see whenever it 
overflows out of there. Also, shouldn't we not have a good funnel to funnel it in that hole? Maybe I got a little bit ahead of myself checking that out. Let's just leave that finger loose and let's hunt up a good funnel or something and then we will pour it in there and make sure that it comes out the side and then we'll top off the hydraulic too but we're going to need a funnel for both so yeah i mean i forgot about my pump this ain't no two-bit operation why should i use a funnel when well, i can use this thing and make a mess so i should probably have at the ready the socket again that does the drain plugs or the not the drain plug but the test plug that way I can pull that out of there and instantly know whether we're the way we should be see now I did such a good job tightening them that it won't open again there we go all right do we have everything ready? I hope so. We're gonna see what happens. She's going. Consequently, the last thing I pumped with it was gear oil, so. That's kind of handy. I wonder if it, if I could just leave it out or if it's gonna, I'm just gonna do that. Let's see when we can see it start pouring out of there. There we go. There it comes. All right. That's almost a five gallon bucket. Let's see about tightening this up again. Yeah. All right. We can check that periodically and make sure that it's everything it needs to be. Mm hmm Sure. Now, we need to go to our rear of our machine. And this one, I don't think we can use that pump because it's a tiny opening. If it's like the 1450, I believe this is our filler. So that probably ain't gonna... Oh, I should have took pictures. I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure that's got a... That might have a dipstick on it. All right, it's coming back to me here. Uh, we're gonna put oil in here. So we just almost can't stand it anymore. That should probably be adequate. There's also a filter in here on the on this other triangle cap, but like I said, I ain't got one. So We'll have to figure that out. I think what this little plug over here was that I was messing with, I'm pretty sure it's the level, like it's another level check plug. So the way we have it now, it should run out of this hole when I take that loose, and it does. So, probably a little over full, but a lot of our lines might have air in them from times we've had that pump off you know all right you know what this means friends we're just about ready to drive it
of course it's not cleaned off and of course you know it's just there's going to be lots of sadness i'm sure but those need to go back later but we're going to give it a go i mean i think it'll i think it'll play we're going to stick that in there just for looks we're going to have to find a safe place for all of our bolts so more cleanup is what i'm saying all right <clears throat> i think we're cleaned off this poor tractor he said kids vandalized it and i guess that's where a lot of this white paint looking stuff comes from but it looks like they also took a tube of clear silicone and just put it all over the place because there's silicone in random places and it doesn't make much sense so, like on the center of the axle tube for no reason. So we'll have our hands full cleaning up here at some point. But I think we're going to try to give her a drive and see what happens. And of course, like any tractor, it probably has its quirks. like a dream I mean that is beautiful right there So we know we have at least reverse and first gear. Let's try second gear. Second gear. Third gear. Uh, yep. Twin ranges, fourth gear. Yep. Oh, it's gonna be like Freddy. It's gonna be a hard shift.
still. Does our PTO work? Yeah. Oh, there's something about that. I can't remember. All right, we'll have to take that linkage apart and get that. Maybe the hammer valve. It's acting weird. But it does run and drive. It just don't drive the greatest. It drives fine, it just don't run with enough power, I don't think. So we're gonna have to sort out our governor linkage. Because there's obviously more there to give. It's just not doing it. So we'll have to sort into all that. But it does run and move. So progress is being made. And that's always a, a good day. So I suppose we'll leave this one here. I'm going to actually put a little more gas in it. Because there's gas right over here. So if I do that, then we'll take her back down and just keep plugging away at it as we get time. A lot of it will be cosmetic now, but we also have to sort out our linkage problem get it to run a little bit better but she's coming along friends just a month ago it was left for dead and now it's a runnable machine so that's pretty cool do you suffer from low intelligence and are easily entertained well then hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment and that way we can keep making entertainment that your feeble minds can understand. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.